youth exchanges between partner and program countries. There are a number of things to bear in mind at each phase of a youth exchange project. Please note that this list is not exhaustive and many of these aspects can also be relevant to organizations from program countries. In some cases, organizations from partner countries can have more experience than their counterparts from program countries. Let's start with the idea development phase. International youth work and youth exchanges can be a relatively new phenomenon in organizations from partner countries. Make sure you spend sufficient time with potential partners to discuss the idea and meanings of words. Even though the applicant promoter can be only from a program country, all partners should have a say about the idea of youth exchange. Youth exchange can take place in one of the countries of project promoters. All partners should decide who will be hosting youth exchange. It is essential to evaluate all pros and cons, as well as to be brave enough to make challenging but exciting decisions. When the idea and partners are clear, it's time to start the application development process. Clarify with partners what experiences they have in the preparation of application forms. In some cases, it could be the first time for partners from partner countries to be involved in this process, but youth exchange organizers from program countries can be also surprised how much experience some organizations from partner regions have. If the idea was developed together with all partners, it is very likely that most of the partners will be able to share different parts of the application form. Be aware that every national agency has a specific budget for projects involving youth groups from partner countries. Therefore, quite often, this budget is spent by the first and the second deadline of the year. Always check with the national agency before applying if they still have funds and if they accept project applications involving partner countries. If a youth exchange project involves citizens both from EU and non-EU countries, in most cases, they would need a visa to enter either an EU or non-EU country. Make sure visa-related costs are identified by all partners and included in the budget as exceptional costs. Visa-related costs are not only visa fees, but also compulsory insurance, travel, accommodation, post-service costs for applying and receiving a visa for the advanced planning visit and youth exchange. When your project is approved, it's time to consider contract signing and bilateral partnership agreements. Clarify with the national agency whether they require original partner mandates before the contract is signed. If so, the applying partner should make sure there is sufficient time for the mail to arrive from more remote regions. Sometimes it can take up to one month or more. When the contract is signed by the applicant partner and the national agency, it is recommended that all partners make agreements on financial matters. Mutual agreements among organizations help avoid misunderstandings and establish rights and responsibilities of each promoter. Partners may agree on money transfer procedures, the required documents for reimbursement, taxation issues, and any other important aspects. Now, let's look at some important aspects related to the organization of project activities. The advanced planning visit ideally should be done 6 to 12 weeks before the youth exchange in order to implement all the tasks agreed upon at the meeting. Make sure people traveling to the advanced planning visit have checked border crossing rules, found out all the details about invitations, visas and insurance. It varies in partner regions from country to country. Different rules may apply within the EU as well, depending on whether the country is in the Schengen area or not. It is recommended to start youth exchange as the main activity of the project four to six months after the launch of the project. Such timing will allow having a proper preparation on the local level, organizing the advance planning visit, buying cheaper travel tickets in advance, receiving visas, making money transfers, and making practical arrangements for youth exchange. Youth exchange with youth groups from partner countries can involve much bigger cultural differences. Group leaders should allow for sufficient time during the preparation time to prepare youth groups for intercultural encounters, interreligious dialogues, and diversity in general. The last task is to write a final report after the project is over. Make sure partners from both partner and program countries are informed beforehand what will be required for the content and financial reports. If this process involves sending documents by post, plan sufficient time for the post service. Applicant partners should always consult with partners concerning these issues. Despite specific aspects of such cooperation, 
There are plenty of great experiences across Europe of involving young people from both program and partner countries. Use the opportunities of Erasmus Plus Youth for expanding your network and bringing people in Europe and beyond closer to each other.